Mary's gonna be my steering captain. <laughs> All right, we got us tied up. We got the Z over here. And uh, we're gonna try to pull this sucker right through. So far, all the wheels are turning, which is good news. About two years ago, I took the brakes apart on this thing in the rear, and I aired up the back tires, and the back tires are still holding air from two years ago. The front ones, however, are not holding air uh, since two years ago. I did put air in them then, but they are turning, so the brakes aren't stuck. That's a good thing. This thing is now out of the spot that it has been sitting for the last 20-something years. That's right, it's been sitting in the same spot since the late 90s. And, uh, well, <laughs> she's going home. Or he. I believe his name is Gregory, right? Gregory, yeah. Gregory. He's so the bus is a boy. Truck. He's what? He's a work truck. Yeah, he's a work truck. His name's Gregory. We, we might just stick with that. <laughs> Hi, what welcome back. With, what do I do with my hands? What do you do with your hands? <laughs> you do anything you want with I your hands. I don't know what I do with my hands. You do anything you want. Macarena, okay. I mean, you know. <laughs> okay, I'll try not to look too uncomfortable. Welcome back to Duckman Cycles of VW Garage. I'm your host, the Duckman. <laughs> We're back today <laughs> rescuing my bus. Right, we're right here in Mary's bus farm. <laughs> this is Mary. Hi. Mary's got a bunch of other buses you can see behind us here. Well, maybe you can, maybe you can't. They're kind of off in the distance. Some of them are actually right off here just outside the camera view. But Mary, people are going to be asking, what's for sale? What are you selling? Everything has a price. Everything has a price. Well, in that case, how does somebody get in touch with you if they see something that happens to be in the background of this video they might be interested in? Um, probably through you. Through me? give out my email. Oh, you don't have to give out an email. I mean, you got Facebook. Would you mind if they... Yes. Okay. <laughs> you wouldn't we mind can, if they... We can do that. <laughs> uh, yeah, just just hit me up on uh, Facebook. Can you put my name in? There? Absolutely. Uh, I'll give yeah. you a link to Mary. Uh, you can actually go over to Duckman Cycles Facebook group page. You can also post something there. I'll make sure that you see it. Okay. And uh, you can communicate with Mary through there. If there's anything you're interested in, Mary has a bus, bunch of uh, bay window buses. One of them is a low light. It's in some sorry shape, but I'm sure there's a lot of stuff on it. It might still be good to you. So anyways, we're pulling out this bus. Of course, I got the uh, world famous Nissan 350Z tow truck here. I've got the rope between the two, and I put a piece of PVC pipe over it just in case something snaps or lets go. That way the, uh, the hook that's at the end of the rope doesn't go and bust the back window of my car. <laughs> all right, like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Check out duckshit.net for all of my other social media links. And let's go ahead and get to work.
We've got a technical glitch. but <laughs> it's reversible. <laughs> yeah, it works. I have a locking. It's a Delmont lock. Okay. That's a YouTube thing. Nice. <laughs> Delmont came and tried to steal my hitch, but I already locked it, so it was a video about it. Nice. Yeah. Stupid idiot came down the street, tried to steal it, and got mad. He couldn't have it. It's bad. This hitch is like really low already because of the car. Yeah. But that yeah. would have been. That's how I had to pull a gear all at once, too. I'm a pro. <laughs> I've gotten real good at this over the years. I've pulled many a Volkswagen. It's only the second time I had to reverse the tow bar though. <laughs> the gear was because of the bumper. But it had a short beetle tow bar on it so it hit the underside of the bumper. This one I probably wouldn't need to do that with. Okay. Yeah, shorten, shorten, shorten. Fantastic. to be the first time that this thing has seen the road in over 20 years. Mary actually drove it to the position it was sitting 20 years ago and uh, <laughs> uh, well it's gonna be exciting just to see what's gonna happen. We're gonna take it real easy, we're gonna go real slow and I'm talking like less than 10 miles an hour. We only have to go 4.8 miles so less than 5 miles I don't think we need to overdo it. We'll just take it easy and we'll get it home. Mary's helped me out tying up some wires. Saw some danglers. Mary's a wonderful friend. If you need bus parts, talk to Mary. <laughs> Don't forget, up on Facebook. I'll post the links down below how you guys can send a message to her. <laughs> what you got here? A purse? Yes. We're full of what? Duct tape duct tape and zip ties? <laughs> Is it? No. <laughs> my duct tape is right here. It's not in my purse. Oh, uh, it's a regular purse? Yes. Uh, I thought it was a purse for like securing stuff. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> I really thought that's what it was. Now I'm gonna go really slow, Mary. We're talking like less than 10 miles an hour okay. because I do not know what those tires are gonna do and I do not expect them to make it all the way home full of air. They are gonna go flat at some point. The right hand front one, the uh, uh -huh. valve stem was loose. When I put the cap back on it, it was going every time I would just touch it a little bit to one side or the other. So that one is gonna lose air for sure. And the other ones, hey, it's anybody's guess. But the slower we go, the less likely they are to blow out. I just hope that they just don't detread themselves and, <laughs> and end up eating things, so. We're gonna be very extra delicate. 
that 350Z is the best tow truck that I have ever owned. And I don't care what anybody says, this car has been awesome. Probably the last of the good Nissans that you could buy because anything from the French Renault company, like the Nissan Juke, piece of shit. But that Z, that Z has just been awesome. That won't hurt. All right, here's the Z. There's Gregory. There he is. You're gonna be a good boy and you're gonna come home all safe, aren't you? You're not gonna be like Boomer, are you? Yeah. <laughs> And so begins our slow five mile journey. We'll be going about, uh, well, exactly 4.8 miles with the bus in tow behind me. You can see the uh, Volkswagen emblem back there. Just taking it easy. We don't need to go crazy. We don't need to do anything ridiculous. These tires are old, they hold air, but there's no sense in abusing it or overdoing it. We're allowing everybody to pass that wants to pass. We're not making a thing. Of course, everybody is all building up behind us like a bunch of a-holes. And I gotta make a left up ahead. <laughs> One of the few lefts that we're gonna have to do, actually. But, uh, we're gonna let as many cars through as we want to, and then uh, I'm gonna get over. successful on the left turn. No big drama. Made it around the turn, the bus didn't fall apart. Tell you what, this Z, man, this car. <sighs> I just love this car. Love this car. Never gave her a name. Still haven't given the old Z a name. Had her now since 2005. She was built in 04. So effectively at this point, she's 15 years old. And uh, she's she's been a very, very reliable vehicle I mean I've had minimal problems with her really I have this car is just excellent 130,000 miles about to roll over and uh, she's pulling a Volkswagen bus not the first time she's even pulled a bus not even the first second third fourth or even twelfth time she's pulled a Volkswagen at all <laughs> but it is the first time that I pulled a split window bus I, I just yeah so happy with what's going on here Okay, well we are one mile closer to home, 3.8 miles to go. Everything's going just fine. Well, we are past the halfway point. We're out on a main road right now, um, a place where I really don't want to be, but the traffic light is going to help us to make this left. This is uh, probably the only real dangerous turn that we have to make here. Uh, it's been pretty easy getting over in the lanes. Most people were pretty, pretty good about letting us over um, without having any crazy people, really. I mean, people want to shoot past you because, of course, we're just going too slow for everybody. I, I think I peaked out at 22 miles an hour at one point, and... Uh, <laughs> You can just hear those brakes, the drum brakes on the front of that car, just <laughs> Anyways, um, things have been good. We're at 3.1 miles, so we're past that halfway point. Continuing on our way, but it's all back roads from here all the way to home, and only one turn left. So, so far so good. Really, really good.
right up ahead here around this this bend uh, it drops to 30 miles an hour and I was towing my 65 Beetle through here once and I was doing about 40 10 over the speed limit but it was still too slow for people and if you look you see the double yellow line so nobody should be passing through this zone anyway but everybody was rocketing past me because apparently I was just not going fast enough 10 over the speed limit towing a vehicle was just too slow for them <laughs> anyways we are at four miles uh, that's right so we've only got 0.8 miles remaining until we're home and still no mishaps not a single problem maybe we're gonna have a really good day today I mean everything has just been going fantastically well I mean the only thing I've needed thus far has been a 17 millimeter wrench and an adjustable an adjustable wrench the only real problem that we had is the tow bar wouldn't fit because the steering stabilizer was inhibiting it I had to take the stabilizer off and the tow bar wouldn't fit onto the hitch because the hitch was too high so I had to reverse the ball on it but that's the extent of uh, my problems today really that that's that's been it <laughs> not much I'm allowed to complain about today today is, is has been a very very good day half a mile left we are only at half a mile all right we are making our last turn we are 0.1 mile away from home only a tenth of a mile that's really it all right here comes this last turn I can smell tire rubber. Them tires are burning up. <laughs> yeah, those old tires are not holding up too well. I wonder if they held their air though. Alright, we're gonna run this thing right up the driveway. I don't f***ing believe it. I really don't f***ing believe it. Made it home without a single mishap. The only bad thing that happened all day today is I got a cut in my finger somehow off of the uh, the edge on the mirror here behind this rubber. I peeled this back and there's a sharp metal edge back there that nicked my finger. Tires held air. The tires held air. I was smelling some rubber when the wind changed direction. Ooh, they're nice and hot. <laughs> you think it might have been you? I'm smelling rubber, smelling rubber burning though. I don't think it's uh, I don't think it's oil. I don't believe they held and there's still air in them. I really don't believe it. There was a lot of shwees falling out the back towards that last bit. Yeah, we lost a few pounds of rust on the way, I'm sure. Probably many, many pounds of rust. I don't believe it got here. I, I really don't believe it's sitting right where it's at. I mean, this is what, three, four years in the making? At least. We've been working on this, <laughs> getting this thing here since forever. I've been talking about it on my YouTube channel. You guys have been following me. I mean, I always mention that there's a bus, there's a bus, there's a bus. There's the bus in my driveway attached to my car. <laughs> Now I gotta figure out just how I'm gonna get it to, to park it in a safe place. But it, uh, it'll get there. It'll get there. It's one of those things I'm gonna have to work with this evening. I gotta clean up some shit in the backyard and just make a space to push it in. But it'll get there. Anyways, thanks everybody for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Pluck that dingle belly down our next subscribe button. That way you get updates every time that I upload a new video. Check out duckshit.net for all of my other social media links. And if you'd like to get in touch with Mary for bus parts, you make sure that you find her up on Facebook. I'll put a link down in the video description. Thanks for watching, everybody. Really appreciate you. We'll see you next time. <laughs> Selfie time. I don't know if this will be the thumbnail, but... <laughs>